Welcome back to Talking Acoustics. Today we're going to talk about sleep. So today what we wanted to do is we wanted to see if we could offer you some helpful hints that will hopefully increase the quality of your sleep and the quality of your life. One of the things that we think is, is really important to focus on is what's going on with our windows and doors. Any place air can get through, sound will get through. There's no way around that, it's an immutable fact. So look at ways of, of reducing airflow passageways uh, into your room. Another thing to look at is white noise. I use a fan in the summertime when I can. It creates that sort of uh, neutral, constant noise. It fools your ears, actually, into thinking it's hearing or not hearing things. Uh, that can be a very helpful thing. One of the things, of course, we, we absolutely want to address is light. Light is always disrupted to sleep. In fact, there are alarm clocks that are designed to actually bring in gradual uh, brightness of light. I have one of those myself. It works like gangbusters. I'm always awake before I hear the actual alarm because of the light. So we want to block as much light as possible from getting into the room. Uh, the next thing we want to think about is neighbors you need to be able to communicate with. They, you may need to know whether they're having any issues with any kind of sounds you're making. I've, uh, being a drummer, I've had to schedule time, so I'm not disturbing people's sleep for obvious reasons. Uh, but communication is everything there. And after that, just uh, remember to relax. Relax. There, there's one trick I, I read about recently where they said, try to think and concentrate about staying awake. It'll actually make you drowsy. And uh, try some of these things, see what happens. Thanks a lot.